the luxury handbag world, when we talk about style, one aspect we see a lot is a trend toward minimalism in your outfits. Neutral colors, solids, a lot of black and white, and that's what we're going to focus on today. I'm going to try on a plethora of black and white items for us. These are not just basic, but classic pieces, and each one has a little something special about it. And each of these could also be staples in your wardrobe and look fantastic with your beautiful handbags. Let's get into this. Stay tuned. <music> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So today is all about classic black and white pieces with a little something special about them. And you're going to see me film this in a few different segments because I don't have everything here yet at the time that I'm filming this part. Right now I have two pieces and I'm waiting on several more to arrive, but I'm excited to try these two on. So let's jump right into those. First, I have this white top. This is from Nanette Lepore and I'm pretty sure this is from Saks Off Fifth. Now this is one thing about the clothing try-ons that I do on this channel. I don't do fast fashion. I look at places that have nicer clothes, but I look in the clearance sections or I look for sales or I look to double up both of those things that are on clearance that are also on sale. So I get things at really great prices. I will have everything that can be linked, like if it's still available, I'll have it linked below in the description box. I'll also have the retail price of the item and I'll have the price that I paid. And for most of these tops, they're gonna to be under $30 each. So you get a great bargain. A lot of them retail for closer to $100 each. I also have one very special pair of pants in this video that I'm gonna try on right after this shirt, with this shirt actually. And I may look like a waiter cause it's a white top with black pants, but there's nothing wrong with that. So let's take a look at the details on this top. At first glance, it may look like a classic Oxford shirt. You've got that collar, you've got buttons. These have a little bit of a pearl mother of pearl sort of finish, but I'm sure they're just plastic. The sleeves, however, are what make this special. It needs to be steamed or ironed, but they are puffy sleeves. They have some volume to them. The cuff is elastic, which will be nice and comfortable, let's hope. And then on the back, we have a pleat, you can see there, to give you a little extra room. So hopefully it's not pulling at the shoulders. I'm gonna get this unbuttoned and try it on. By the way, all these tops are gonna be extra large size for me, unless I tell you otherwise. And I forgot to tell you, I'm very consciously not wearing any jewelry because I don't want it to get caught on the clothes as I'm taking them on and off. So here is this top. I think this fits me great. It's really comfortable. One of the problems that I have with button downs, I don't wear them very often, is because they tend to stretch around some of the wider, places, you know, and then they pull and they open up where you don't want them to open up. This shirt is not doing that. And part of that is because of the elastic on the sleeves. When I pull my arms in, I'm not getting tightening on the shoulders because it's not pulling at the shoulders where it's pulling is on the arms. It pulls the arm up some. And because that's elastic, you have the give to do that. For me, it doesn't feel like the elastic is too tight and won't bother me. I also don't usually wear collars because they tend to get wrinkled and out of place and stuff, but I've just tried to be careful when I take it out of the washing machine, I air dry my tops and I just kind of press it where it needs to be, kind of shape it by hand and hopefully it'll be all right. I like the sleeves that are puffy like this. I think that's really pretty and it gives it an extra element of interest. And I tend to just wear blue jeans, so that's what I'm pairing it with here and that pleat on the back definitely gives me more, more room to move around and I don't think that there's too much material back here that's another problem that I have with Oxford style shirts is that they're either too tight or they're too bulky back here and they kind of stick out this also seems to have a little bit of stretch in the fabric which is really nice because that's forgiving now what I want to show you very excited about this but I have no idea how it's gonna work on me it's a pair of pants by a brand called City Chic these are from me and they're very special because they're sequin. Oh my god, sequin pants. You guys, some of you, remember my other pair of infamous sequin pants in bronze. 
these things. These I got it, I wanna say, maybe two years ago. Look at this, they still have the tags on them. The reason for that is that they are too long for me by several inches, and I still haven't had them hemmed, partly because of COVID and partly just because I haven't taken them out and done it. I need to leave them out where I remember that I need to do that. These pants are lined in a black fabric that feels stretchy. They have an elastic waist with a drawstring. And on these, probably can't tell very well because they're so sparkly, but they're vertical stripes of sequins. And they're little small sequins. Also, around the ankle cuff, they have elastic. So they may look like harem pants or something. I have no idea what they're gonna look like on me. They might look fabulous. They might look awful. I'm gonna try them on and find out. All right, they're on. I'm gonna set up my ladder and climb up the ladder so you can actually see them because obviously they're not in the frame. There they are. So you can see they're pretty baggy. I don't have a whole lot of shape to them. They don't give my legs a lot of shape. They just kind of hang there. And because they have all the sequins, there's some weight to them. They don't feel heavy wearing them, but the length tends to gather up at the bottom there. So instead of sort of being puffy all over, they're puffy at the ankle. And yeah, I'm not crazy about the fit on these. I do love the sequins themselves. I'm gonna come down off this ladder before I kill myself. This is interesting. A couple of the sequins have caught on each other. Yeah, these are definitely going back. The fit's not great and the sequins just caught on things and like immediately gets messed up. So that's a problem. Now the rest of the video will be filmed in other segments as the clothes arrive. And I present that to you now. Autumn from the future here. I got more shipments with more clothes. So let's try them on. I think I'll do the black tops first and then the white. First is this top by Vince Camuto. It has a cowl neck and a little bit of a puff on the sleeve up here. Let's try it. All right, I like this one okay. I wish it had three quarter sleeves instead of the long sleeve but I could just pull them up, not a problem. The cowl neck sits nicely, I think, and the puff sleeves are just really subtle. It's quite heavy up here because of the gathering of the materials. Not like weighted heavy, it's just you can feel the thickness in there of the gathered materials. Now here's what I don't like about it. This material is quite thin, and maybe for most people that's fine, but it's the kind of thin material that with the color you can't see through it, but it shows every little bump, and like I have it over my jeans, it shows the belt loop, and the place where the button is and I don't know how much I like that. So meh on this one, it's probably a no. And by the way, I'm going to be extra picky on these black and white tops because I already have quite a few so I can afford to be picky with them. Here's what's interesting. This top is completely sheer. I thought it would have come with something underneath it. So I'm gonna have to go grab a black tank top and put that on before I try that on because nobody needs to see all my business. Well, I accidentally grabbed a navy tank top but you get the idea. It's very pretty. I love this one. I was having trouble with it at first because it has this collar that buttons up. Can you see the kind of button loop it is? It's a little fabric covered button and then on this side it has little loops of fabric that you put over the button. It was very very difficult to get that unbuttoned and if you want to button it all the way it's gonna be up here. It's gonna be quite a high neckline. I definitely don't wanna do that. And if I just drop it open, it, it might stay like that, but then it kind of comes together and that's kind of weird. So I'm folding the neck down where it looks more like a collar. I'm okay with that. The sleeves are really long. They have, I was gonna say they have an elastic band, but they don't. And I was gonna say I could pull them up, but I can't because it's not an elastic band, it's a button. That's kind of annoying. So I'm not a big fan of long sleeves. I like to wear three quarter. I, let's see, this is about as far as up as I can get it. Maybe that would be okay. I'm gonna try one more thing with this and see how this looks. I have an idea. All right, here it is with a tank top under it that matches my skin tone pretty well. So now that really shows off the lace a lot better instead of just having it show on the sleeves and up here. You can see it around the whole shirt. I think that's really pretty. Hmm, I like that. I will say that when I went to take the shirt off, these cuffs are a bit tight and it was difficult to get them over my hands. There is a button that you can unbutton and just have them hang and maybe I would do that with them. Yeah, I think that's what I would do with this is leave these unbuttoned. It doesn't look any different when you have your hands down. It looks the same. And then when you put your arms up, they fall. So I kind of like that about it. There's no way to get them to stay up though, unless you were to pin them. If you try rolling them, which I just did off camera, they don't stay put. So, hmm, I'm not a hundred percent about this. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for now. The, I need to think about it pile. Let's try on the white shirts. And if I forgot to mention this, this is from Banana Republic Factory. 
luxury. This first white top is from Tahari. It has kind of a t-shirt material, a little bit more stretchy than that, but the sleeves are what's so special. They're pleated and oh how pretty and they're sheer and they have a really soft cuff with three little buttons. Let's try this. We may have the same issue with this one that we had with the first black one where the material is too, too tight and shows everything, but we'll see. We'll find out. Yeah, same problem here as with the black shirt, especially since this material is white and you can see through it better. It shows all the little wrinkles and all the bumps more but it's pretty and the sleeves are really nice, quite billowy. The cuffs are made of a little bit of a stretchy material, so even though they're buttoned up, it's easy to get them on and I like that they're kind of thick cuffs. Makes it look a bit elegant. It's pretty, but because of the tightness and the, all the bumpiness, this one's gonna have to go back. I usually like Tahari products. They usually do really well for me when I find them at TJ Maxx. Oh wow, I don't know about this one. I think I was taking a chance with this one. This is a sweater material, which I didn't realize. Look at the detail on the neck there with the little, I don't know what to call that, the little ruffly bits and the little faux pearls. And then look at the sleeves. Hmm, I don't think I've ever tried a sleeve like this. I'm not hopeful about how that will look on me. We'll see. This is a hard pass. Very see-through material, very thin. It does have a button on the back that's very easy to do. It has an elastic piece that goes around one of the pearls. I'm finding this a bit itchy. I do like the sleeves okay. I'm a little surprised by that. The poofy and then this elastic piece. I like it more than I thought I would, but overall, no. This next top is from Banana Republic and it looks like this and I forgot I ordered this one. I I actually ordered this in three different colors, one a yellow, one a navy. I think those videos are up already by the time you're seeing this. I sent the yellow one back, I kept the navy one. The yellow one I sent back partly because it, the lighter color showed some flaws. This might do the same thing. Let's see. Yeah, this is like the yellow one. The lighter color shows the flaws. I feel like the sleeves are too puffy. They just sit weird and that was hidden by the navy. Also, the sleeves are pretty wrinkly and I think they would tend to be that way because of the material that they're made from and that's pretty obvious on the light color. So this one's gonna go back. I'll just keep that navy one. Next, also from Banana Republic Factory, is this top. It has an elastic crepe kind of front and back on the body. And then the sleeves are a different material. They're very silky and there's an inside layer of the crepey fabric. Uh, the outside is just very soft and pretty. I'm hopeful about this one. Let's try. Well, I put it on and I thought we have a winner. And then I looked in the mirror, not liking this. It's too thin and I got this to be a summer top. I'm not gonna wear something under it and add a layer where I'm already gonna be sweltering. Also, I don't like, you know, how you can see here and all the bumpiness from my jeans, but the fit is pretty good. The sleeves are really nice. I'm really enjoying all these puffy sleeves. Probably pretty obvious in the selections I've made. This one's going back. Here's another selection from Banana Republic if I can get it and hold on to it. I think I'm gonna have the same problem. It seems like all these are just too thin and this seems to be the same material as the top I'm wearing. It has puffy sleeves, but they're short. I don't have a good feeling about this. Ah. Yep, same problem, and I can't even wear this to work because it's so see-through. No, not liking it. So the sleeves are nice. Um, going back. Hey, this last one looks like it's gonna be an absolute tent on me. It's an extra large. It's enormous. Look at this. Um, it has puffy sleeves. It's more of a cottony material, but I can tell it's not cotton because it's... It doesn't have a stretch to it, but it just, it feels different. I don't know how to describe it. Also, not sure about this neckline. It, this is really strange. So you can see the neckline there. And this piece just completely opens up. There are no buttons or anything inside there. There's one button at the top that has an elastic band to undo it. I'm already disappointed, but let's see how it looks on. What the hell is this? This looks ridiculous. Look at this. That's horrible. Not happening. Why would anyone make a shirt like this? And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope this was helpful and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.